Okay, I'm here with my mother, and uh, we're waiting for daddy's in, in uh, physical therapy right now, and I was telling her we were going over the word today and listening to it and uh, talking about it, and she was telling me a story that I just want her to share with you because it's it was, it was so powerful. So, Mom, share that story that you just shared with me. Okay. Okay. Maybe we don't realize it, but... We have a miracle on our coffee table. That that scripture, that Bible, sometimes it just sits there. It's pretty in all kinds of covers and colors and translations. But do we really realize, realize how vital and important and miraculous it is? Mm -hmm. The Bible says that the Word of God is quick and powerful. Quick means alive. Quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing of soul of the soul and spirit, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. How about that? Mm. It's alive. I never quite understood that verse. I've always appreciated the Word of God and memorized it and loved it and taught my children to memorize it. But I had an experience some years ago in a church that God showed me something about his word that I'll never forget. Um, in one of our churches, we met this little lady, real sweet lady, and she kept coming to the church and was interested and so interested. And she wasn't a believer, but she loved the, the, the Bible studies and um, she received the Lord and just was radiant mm -hmm. and so happy and, and we were so happy she was she was so happy and one day Ian got a, a call from a the hospital and they said pastor would could you come and see and I'll call her Kathy and um, so we went over there and she was in a deep coma this lady had taken an overdose of sleeping pills mm -hmm. and I said oh we just we just failed her we could have helped her. Kathy, why did, why did you do that? But we prayed for her. She had tracheal tube and oxygen and in deep coma. And we were so, we prayed for her and prayed over her. And then just before we left, I leaned down to her right side and I began to whisper the scripture, Kathy, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. I, it's just a whisper, I was just whispering it. And, and Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear, Kathy? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear though the earth be removed. In Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. And this is what happened. After a few minutes, a tear came out of that right eye and ran down her cheek. And I said, Kathy, you can hear the word. You can't hear me, but you can hear the word, can't you? And she tried to swallow. So I went and told the nurse, she's responding. And um, the nurse came in and said, no, she's not. But she was awake the next day. Mm. And you know, she didn't remember that, mm. but I remember it. Yeah. And to think, that God has put his mind, his desires, his help in print. Yeah. That we have the privilege, the honor of knowing what's on his mind. And there's a verse in, in Psalm uh, 119, verse 92, I think. Um, if it had not been for the law, God's book, I would have perished in my affliction. And that's the truth. Mm. Because the, the uh, Psalm says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, guides my feet, 
and a light into my path shows me the way. You know, we don't have to wander around in the darkness. Mm -hmm. The world is so dark, but we don't have to wander around because his word is our light. Mm -hmm. What a, what, a, what a thrill. That's beautiful. God really does speak to us. Yeah. It's well, true. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thanks, Mom.